Welcome back, lifestyle enthusiasts. We're TrustedShoppingGuide.com and today we're in the lifestyle. In this video, two meditation headband brands will be going head to head. We have the Muse, the Brain Sensing Headband, and the Flow Time Biosensing Meditation Headband. Perhaps you've seen images of individuals laying in massive machines that record brain activity or of a guy jogging on a treadmill with hundreds of tiny wires hooked to his muscles. These machines are often large, costly, and controlled by trained personnel. That could be a thing of the past. Now we can record the same activity using much smaller, inexpensive, and easy-to-use wearable technology. Imagine being able to monitor your brain's activity in real time when you're meditating or agitated at work and being able to adjust your actions to get better outcomes. Alternatively, you may monitor your heart rate and muscular tension while exercising in order to see just how much you've improved over time. The possibilities are endless. It puts our health and fitness in our own hands, allowing us to view and engage with our bodies in innovative and fascinating ways. If you're ever torn between the Muse and the Flow Time Meditation headbands, you've come to the right place, as we'll be pitting the two brands against each other to help you decide. It's too early to draw conclusions about this match, even though Muse has received 5 badge ratings and Flow Time has only gained 4 badges from our crew at TrustedShoppingGuide.com. Because in this video, every aspect will be scrutinized to see which one sticks out the most. If you are interested in other meditation headbands that we have reviewed, do check out our meditation headband review video linked below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start the brand wars. The first category that these two meditation headbands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their biodata report. Real-time data is important while meditating, and a full data report afterwards is just as important for tracking your development over time. A visual representation of your body's performance would undoubtedly pique your interest if you were looking to check how well you did. You may use the Muse mobile app to see a graph of your brain activity, which is divided into three categories, active, neutral, and calm. Your progress and achievements may be tracked and you can see how much time you spend concentrating on each session. Similarly, Flow Time won't back down with its detailed biodata report displaying your performance every minute, reminding you when you get into the meditation state and during which period you are doing great so you can compare your performance with the last 7 sessions to see your improvement. Flow Time and Muse's applications are likely to provide a real-time biodata report. However, when you look at it, Muse displays a hazy summary of the session that is confined to just 3 categories. Flow Time, on the other hand, provides in-depth information on your brain waves, heart rate, breath coherence, and so on. With that, Flow Time has earned a point in this round. The second category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their battery life. The fact that our devices suddenly shut down owing to poor battery life is something that we all despise. It's impossible to avoid stress, so a lengthy battery life might be a tremendous aid in meditating whenever we need it. Muse has a decent 5-hour battery life, and it's also worth mentioning that you can see what the charge level is, and there's a built-in LED light that displays the charging status. On the flip side, the battery life of Flow Time is generous at 8 hours, allowing you to meditate for as long as you like. As expected, Flow Time was once again victorious in the longevity stakes. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their sensors. Sensors are required to allow the gadget to discern between brainwave energy and other psychological stats. The more sensors the gadget has, the more useful it will be to you since it will enable you to monitor your own health. With seven sensors, the Muse Brain Sensing Handband is almost comprehensive in its ability to detect your brainwaves and teach you how to concentrate. In addition to monitoring your heart rate and pulse oximetry, there is an accelerometer so you can see how your meditation position affects your physical relaxation. As an added bonus, it also keeps an eye on your respiration. In comparison, Flow Time has a two-channel EEG acquisition technology that detects brainwaves in real time and separates brainwave energy from the left to the right hemisphere, while the heart rate sensor continually measures your pulse. It's fascinating to see the changes that occur in your brain and body as you meditate. Flow Time also tracks your breathing coherence and qualifies your attention, relaxation, and pressure performance. When it comes to tracking the human body, Flow Time has gone above and beyond expectations. 
not only due to the segregated tracking of brain hemispheres but also the extensive monitoring of five major categories of brain waves the gamma alpha beta theta and delta brain waves which each correlate to a particular activity not to mention being able to track your attention relaxation and pressure which is not offered by muse in this category flow time has taken the lead over muse with a resounding victory the fourth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their mobile application. To fully enjoy everything the device has to offer, an entertaining and simple-to-use mobile device is needed. The way it works is that it gives people the information, services, and procedures that they need right now in a way that is both intuitive and easy for them to use. The revamped Muse app with better results screens, dashboard, and instructional material will delight you with its responsive and intuitive design. It tracks your meditation sessions and assigns you points based on how well you're doing. You'll get a point for every second you remain in a neutral condition and three points for every second your brain remains calm. Additionally, at 5,000 points, you'll be able to access additional in-depth statistics such as insights about you and timeline review. In the insights about you area, you can see when times of day you felt the most peaceful and the most peaceful you feel. There is also a space for keeping a journal of your experiences in meditating. On the flip side, the Flowtime app stores and compares your meditation progress, gives extensive biometrics, and is compatible with other meditation applications like Calm and Headspace. It can also link in with Music Player apps with the timer mode. Additionally, it has more than 100 scientifically proven meditation classes, which are organized into categories including anxiety, sleep, and beginner on the homepage. Lastly, the app also includes both guided and unguided meditation options for both novice and seasoned meditators. That being said, flow time's availability of countless meditation classes outweighs the interactive and engaging mobile app of Muse. Therefore, flow time gets the point of this round. The fifth and final category that these two brands will be going toe to toe with is their design and portability. If you're going to buy a gadget, it's crucial to think about its portability and how easy it can fit into a purse or backpack. It will give you the opportunity to use it conveniently anywhere you go. Muse's meditation headband has a sleek, slender design and is available in white or black. It's flexible and lightweight, so you won't have to worry about it weighing you down or hurting your ears while you wear it. It softly curves inward to the back of the ear, ensuring comfort. On the other hand, Flowtime features an ultra-slim design that makes the headband imperceptible and incredibly light, only 25 grams. While the rubber band on the back keeps it in perfect position, especially suitable for running meditation and yoga meditation. The elastic rubber band in two sizes is flexible enough to adapt to different head circumferences. Overall, the headband boasts a minimalistic, polished body that doesn't make you look silly. The thin and light headbands offered by both brands are visually attractive, so it's fair to conclude that both have won this round. The results of this brand war have us re-evaluating our initial positions as flow time pulls ahead with 5 points and eliminates Muse's 5 badger rival with 1 point. There can only be one meditation headband champ and the flow time biosensing meditation headband has redeemed itself and claimed its throne in this hard-fought battle. And there you have it folks, the battle between the Muse, the brain sensing headband and the flow time biosensing meditation headband has finally ended. If you have any contenders for our next meditation headband face-off which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comment section below and we'll be sure to assess them for our next update. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our lifestyles great. We look forward to seeing you at thetrustedshoppingguide.com again soon.